Today I'm reviewing for you an application that turns your phone into a wireless mouse. It's one of those functionalities that you don't think you need till you really need it and it works great with laptops, it works great on a desktop. Let's go ahead and dive in. The app was originally featured on the XDA portal site by Joseph Hindi, also known as Pro College Guy. This is referencing a thread that was put together by Joe Williams and it was originally put in a Galaxy S2 form. It gives you a quick explanation of what the application can do. Essentially it turns your phone into a mouse and it tells you basically that it's a great functional way of using your phone in a situation where you don't have access to a mouse or you just don't want to carry with you a mouse. It's great if you have a laptop. If we open up the thread, uh, it gives you again a little bit of explanation of what the application itself. Joe here is referencing the Wi-Fi Mouse HD, but what we're referring to today, at least in the review, is going to be the Wi-Fi Mouse. So if we go to the Google Play Store, uh, just look for Wi-Fi Mouse. Wi-Fi Mouse.Necta.us are the developers. It's uh, currently being maintained. They give you a few screenshots and a quick walkthrough on it. Uh, let's go ahead and dive in on the phone. On the phone, all you need to do is go to the Google Play Store. Look for Wi-Fi Mouse by Wi-Fi uh, Mouse.Necta.us. Open it up. When you first log in, you need to, it tells you basically that you need to install the software that comes with this. So since I've loaded this before, I've already installed the software. I say Auto Connect, and it connects quite fast. First thing you'll notice is it brings up your keyboard because it's using it as a standard keyboard input. Your shortcuts for your, uh, the rest of the keyboard that you normally don't have on your Android keyboard, so your F1 through F12, your Escape, your uh, Windows key, your Shift, your Enter, your Control. And if you hit back, it takes you into the cursor mode. And that's where you're able to see, you know, and you see a tracing of where your fingers are going and what things are going on. So, and overall, as far as settings, you just go into the option as a very, you know, basic mouse settings, scroll settings, auto reconnect at startup, you know, just not that really complicated to use, very easy to install, very quick to use. Let's check out a quick demo. We'll go ahead and show some of the main uh, features here. You have the ability to use it as a mouse. Again, you can see here. And I'm able to pinch the zoom. Standard pinch to zoom. You're able to do two button scroll up or down. And if you want to do the, the keyboard shortcuts, again, it's going to be part of the full version. You'll get a little annoying message, but until you upgrade, you know, it's still not that bad. You click right. And actually, I just realized what I need to do is exit click once bring back the keyboard and then see we can we can scroll through using the same standard scroll you have your windows key you have a little scroll again you want to go back you can go back to your mouse now the main benefits is it works like a regular mouse so you have your right click you have your left click and you have your little scroller so it still works like a regular mouse and you want to bring the keyboard you can bring it and take it away and one of the main features that a lot of the uh, a lot of the forums, at least, that are talking about this application is the ability to do speech to text. So we'll go ahead and bring our Windows, go down, and we'll open Microsoft Word. You can do this with any text editor, and then switch to keyboard. This is a test. This is only a test. I am trying to see the text to speech working. and it, did, it does basically what it's intended to do. The application works very well. I like how it installs. It's very quick, very easy to install. You download the server and install it on the computer, and you just run it directly off the phone. The one downside is you have to both be connected to the same Wi-Fi, so if you're on a laptop and you're not at your home network, you need to kind of keep that in mind. Um, other than that, it works very well. Uh, the free version has its limitation as far as some of the functionality with the upgrade to Pro message every once in a while, but other than that, I think you guys would like it. Try it, download, let me know what you think. I know there's a lot of other alternatives on the market, but this was at least one that was mentioned on the XDA uh, developer's website. Um, other than that, hope you guys like and subscribe. Please just remember that this is the best thing on earth. So if you like and subscribe to this channel, everything will happen and you'll get everything you want on 2013. So subscribe.